Hey guys, I asked you if you would like to see an art supply haul and you said yes. So that's why I'm going to show you what I got the other day when I was shopping. One of the things I got is this masking buoy pen for watercolor paintings. I like the fact that it comes with this thin tip so you can use it almost like a pen and be very precise with it. I also got this drawing gum. It's almost the same as the pen. You just need to use a brush but you can use it for any technique and play around with it. I used a similar masking gum in my Walt Disney painting video but basically you just apply it with a brush to areas that you want to remain white and then when you're finished with your painting you just need to peel it off. The next thing I got is this Winsor & Newton watercolor set. It comes with 12 different colors and this brush. The reason why I got it is because I really wanted to try another brand. I've been using watercolors by Schmincke for years and I was always happy with the quality but I don't really want to try this brand since I see it almost everywhere. Then I got some new brushes by Da Vinci. I got the Junior Synthetics and these Cosmotop Spin Brushes. I've never used these red spin synthetics so I wanted to try them out. They are made for liquid colors like watercolors and silk painting. Their fiber is super soft and smooth and I liked the feel when I first tried them out. But when I started using watercolors, I bought the Junior brushes. It was like 10 years ago, just because they are great quality for a really low price and you can use them for watercolors but also acrylic paints. So they are versatile and you can practice any technique without investing in super expensive watercolor brushes or brushes for acrylic paint. This type is very stable and they don't lose any hair which is very good. They are just a little less soft than the Spin Synthetics but I had no complaints about them at all. I also got this very cheap watercolor set just because I haven't used this type of paint for maybe 15 years. So I was just curious what I can get out of them now and just for playing around. I also got a white mixing palette. You want the palette to be white and not creamy or brown so you can see the actual color. I also got a few different types of watercolor paper. I wanted to try different weights and textures to see what you can achieve and what type of paper I would prefer. The reason I got Hannemühle paper is just because my store only sells Hannemühle so I just got them. But when I went to Bonn I found these mixed media paper by Kansen and I've already started using it. I like the fact that it has thick paper so you can use watercolors or acrylics without buying different types for every single technique. So far I like it but I think I want to test out different textures because I'm not quite happy with this type but it's okay. Then I also got this art eraser. It comes as a block but you can actually knit it. It's great if you use pastels or charcoal because it can easily absorb everything and you can just knead it away as well. The next thing I got are these black fine liner in different sizes because mine were already super old. I like that they are waterproof so you can use them for a lot of things. You can add details to paintings or just doodle with them so I'm excited to try them out because I only had super thin pens for super tiny details. Then I got white pastel pen and a black charcoal but the charcoal was so soft that it just broke all the time. I wanted to use it with the white pastel pen for like portraits or something like that so I would probably have to get a more solid type instead. Then I also got this white paint marker. It's also waterproof and you can use it for glass, metal and plastic. And the last thing I got is this pastel set just because I really wanted to try it another medium like another art tool I haven't used before or just really. I'm not sure what I will paint with them but I'm still very excited about them. And that was all I got this time. I hope you enjoyed this haul and maybe learn about something you haven't heard before. Have a great day everyone and see you next week.